Behind her eyes, Sarah Pimborough, five stars. If you want to know why, let's watch it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Natalie Roth and today I am going to talk to you about a specific book that you just uh, saw a few seconds ago, Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pimborough. I went with some very... Mm, mild expectations just because it's mixed reviews. I was really preparing myself more at not liking it or liking it throughout the story but the ending will be absolutely hateful. I really pushed myself to lower my expectations and maybe it helped, I don't know, but it didn't change the fact that I loved it. The ending, I didn't see it coming, like the very ending I don't think that you can really see that coming. You have to tell me, because I don't think so. But that was so good. What the story is all about. We are in England. We are following two different characters. Every two chapters is about Louise. She is a single mother, divorce, and she is struggling a lot with keep moving into her life. Her ex-husband is married i think or he's gonna marry anyway with a younger woman and uh, she's learning that she is pregnant so she is extremely happy so she put everything around her kids their kids adam she is doing everything for him but everything else is a struggle she's working part-time in a mental center anyway with uh, different doctors she kissed one of the new doctors but she didn't know that he will be the new doctor in the place david it's it's really how many times did i say that i have problems with remembering names the married man uh didn't know at the same time that uh she will that we work together and every two chapters i said it's gonna be the time to follow Adele, which is the wife of David. We're gonna unravel the story throughout Louise and Adele. She's gonna bump accidentally Adele into Louise and she's gonna make friends with Adele. But as reader, we're gonna have the information that it wasn't such an accident and that she knows that Louise actually will have an affair with her husband. Something is cooking, something bad, something devious, something wicked, and this is why you're gonna stay reading behind, because you wanna know what is this wicked plan that Adele is cooking against Louise, against David. It's not really clear what is really going on, but it's getting worse and worse. So this is everything that I can tell you officially without revealing anything. It is captivating because, like I said, right away you know that Adele, the wife, is doing that behind the back of her husband. She's asking Louise to keep it silent, not to tell David, but it's different and easier with Louise because she feels guilty about the wife that she found her lovely, fragile, adorable. She's gonna think or question at some point that she may doesn't have the life easy, Adele, that maybe her husband is kind of a control freak about her, about her life, how she can live, what she can do. She is asking herself what is going on. So many times she's gonna say that obviously she's aware that this isn't healthy, uh, that kind of um, sort of uh, triple uh, relationship and that she has to put an end. But she is kind of addicted to the guy. She is kind of pretty much falling in love with him and he is falling in love with her. And uh, there is Adele. She has a huge fortune and her parents died in um, fire at their house and she was the only survivor. David actually get her out of the house and he got some burn onto his arm so he's got, uh, he has been injured at the same time but he wasn't able to save her parents. Adele, when she was young, I think it was 17 years old, she stayed a month in um, 
center treatments, rehabilitation, whatever you want to call it, for her mental health. And uh, she's going to meet a young boy, Rob. I think they are the same age, I don't remember quite well, but they are getting along very well. So nothing love between them, but it's really like more brother-sister. They're opening to each other and they are trusting to each other and they are actually helping one another to get better in order to get out of the place. At the limit of spoiling thing that Rob is uh, having sort of a big place into the the plot of the story. Right now I can say that this is gonna be spoilery, so if you don't want to hear anything and uh, kind of somehow I strongly advise you not to listen because this is really worth it to discover by yourself but if you are so curious and that you can't wait I have to say that during the whole time that you follow the relationship between Adele and Louise so obviously you you wonder what is really going on with Adele is she has a private detective following Louise because she knows everything. She knows what Louise, where she's going, who she's seeing, even the words that she has when she's talking to people or to her husband, she knows exactly everything. So you really wonder that, okay, what is going on? Is there some um, audio recording to her place? Is this some hidden camera? You really hear more and more when she say that she's desperately in love with David. He has um, lost his love for her because she is completely nuts. Like, beyond crazy. I said that's gonna be spoilery, but I'm not gonna be that too spoilery. There is a big secret surrounding Rob, like I said. He came at some point after the uh, the medical treatment to see her at her house. She invited him. There is something that happened during that time that we don't know before the very end what really happened about Rob. But she is giving to Louise a journal from Rob, helping um, with a specific method to help with some kind of a meditation because uh, Louise suffers from terrible nightmares so she has a really, an extremely hard time at sleeping and Adele at the same time because she's really going for a friendship with Louise out of wickedness and at the same time out of truthness <laughs> she really enjoy Louise as a friend so it is extremely uh, conflicted for her. So she wants to help her at controlling her nightmare. So with the trick, the method written inside the journal, Louise is gonna practice and she's gonna be able to control her nightmare. They are gonna stop. Actually, the further that we are going inside, we're gonna see that we are starting to open a different kind of a door, a door that we are not seeing very often, if maybe not often at all, with the, how can I say that, spiritual world, esoterical world, because she's gonna experience the out-of-body experience when it's sort of meditation, actually, that she has to practice, but the way that she has to do it, it's in, by the time we understand it way before her, but by the time that she's gonna get it, it's she is able to get out of her body, go places to see people. If you want kind of a spirit, but she cannot be seen and she can't touch anything, you're actually gonna realize that, and this is spoilery, so you still have a chance to stop, Adele is doing the same thing. And this is how she was able to know everything that happened. It's it's really good idea from uh, the author to use that kind of stuff. She's capable of doing it. Point, accept, and go with that. When we are getting closer to the end, to what happened to Rob, Louise, that she finally gonna understand that Adele, she knew right away at the beginning that she used her 
and what really is going on between Adele and David. So the couple of themselves, because David never want to talk about his marriage. When you will discover that Louise never told him that she has a friendship relationship with his wife, he's gonna cut off every relationship with Louise. It seems that he is threatening her not to come to him and to their lives. It's gonna take a little bit of time for Louis to understand that it wasn't a threat, that it was warning, but warning as safety. Stay away because it's not gonna be good for you. She doesn't want to go away. She doesn't want to abandon David to what might happen between the couple. So she's gonna stick around and she's gonna use her new ability to get out of her body and to kind of spy at the same time onto Adele what is going on and I have to say that when you are <laughs> at the end it's like wow I don't feel like I am allowed to really say really really the ending because it's so good I really don't want to say so I can I, I said before that we are using you know the out of body that we are using the spiritual esoteric world or idea or plot into that this is all i'm gonna say i i prepared myself for you know what natalie she louise she's probably gonna die or david is gonna die and adele is gonna make everyone believe that louise killed the guy and you know that kind of thing that kind of trap but when you have the answer about adele it's like Whoa. And when you have that, you have the double wow. And you are like, wow. I really want to know to all of you who didn't enjoy what exactly, which part you didn't like, you didn't appreciate, or why was that you, yeah, that you didn't uh, enjoy. And it's really not criticizing anything, it's just for the sake of the conversation because it was so different because this is really truly something that you never see used with a plot with a story you see my expression i am so impressed if you still haven't understood that this is something that you should read i think uh well there's not much that i can do for you <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video, so please subscribe so you are not gonna miss any other new videos, reviews of uh, books that I liked or not, because it can happen. And until the next time, well, have some lovely readings. <laughs>